I ain't ever seen two pretty best friends. It's always some of them sometimes, mostly, have to be ugly. Sometimes. Today we're going to be talking about JR, Scotty. He had his pecker leaked on Twitter. So, of course, I went to go take a look, right? I wanted to see what he was what he was working with, you know? As you do, every time a celebrity's wiener gets on Twitter, you take a look. That's what you do. You get to just peep it. Peep it. Take it in. Embrace it. Enjoy it, maybe. Breathe out. Move on. Right? But... Twitter be Twitter, and people had to go overboard and make this guy delete all of his videos. They said it was dehydrated and little and shriveled up and all of this stuff. And the dude obviously didn't want his video out there or else he would have put it out there himself. But no, somebody had to go out there, put his pecker on blast, and then, you know, it's always the beluga whales that have something to say, you know? Y'all want equality and y'all want body shaming to stop. You want people to love fat people. And then you bully this dude for something that he cannot change at all. At least you can stop being fat. You know, hit the gym, eat better, you know, and I'm not saying anything because like I got a little bit going on and I got some pudge here and some titties starting, you know, I'm getting there. I put it on weight. It happens, right? I get it, you know, but excuse me, miss 600 pound life. Where do you get off saying, I ain't ever seen two fully developed dicks, is always one of them gotta be shrunken, and then hashtag his name in there. When you looking like this, when you look like this, you know, from that angle, it's a little hard to tell, but we know that you're carrying at least 250 with you. At least 250. Maybe three? Maybe 350? 450? Final offer. You feel me? Right? You guys don't want people to body shame other people for you know maybe their nipple size or their weight or their hair or whatever you can shave hair you know you can't change your nipple size whatever you can lose weight whatever you know what i mean but you come out of this left field and call this man's wiener shriveled and dehydrated and all that stuff and it wasn't even small either you know most of the population has a small wiener most of the population you know and Another thing, height as well. Ladies will be like, I want him to be at least 6'11", and he has to be super muscular. I just want that. But the only thing you bring to the table is the extra dinner rolls. Yeah, that's it. Damn. Like, literally, you guys made him private his stuff, turn off his comments, delete most of his videos, and all he said was, I ain't ever seen two pretty best friends. All of them, at least one of them got to be ugly. That's it. That's all he said. And y'all think he's some devil, you know? You have to say, many are commenting that I am body shaming him. Yes, I am. He's literally a womanizer. I ain't never seen two pretty best friends. That's a real shitty thing to say. If he was a good guy, what I said would have been shitty. But for someone like him, so you're going to justify bullying, berating, demeaning, demolishing this gentleman over a joke? That'd be like coming out of left field at Russell Peters for having a small pecker because he made a terrible joke once. Or, you know, any other comedian or whatever, right? Like, damn. He didn't do nothing crazy. He didn't say, yo, you need to, like, manipulate women into sucking on your wiener. There are worse people out there. Look at all of these, like, alpha male people. Those are some jerks, for sure. Those dudes are, like, deserve to be called out. But not for their small peckers. No. They can't change that. They might be douchebags, but they can't change their peckers. Call them douchebags. Tell them they don't deserve to be respected in, you know, whatever thing that they're doing or whatever it is, right? But to come out of the left field at a dude who made a joke and completely demolish his self-confidence, this man is going to take a long time to recover from this. And it's not even small. Like, it was barely even hard. At least some people on Twitter were defending him, saying, like, bro, you pack it and whatever. Like, yeah, he doesn't have, like, some mandingo schlong, you know? He's not coming in like King Kong. You know? He's not slamming it on a table, but he's still going to put in work, right? And even if you do have a really, really small wiener, there's a hole for every size. That little brown, brown winking eye, 
put it in there. Boom. You can't do that with a big wiener. Some girls won't even have sex with dudes with big wieners. When you're looking at 12, 13 inches and it's an arm and you're like, oh, that girl does not want to sit on that thing. That's a monster, dude. It's like getting fisted. Like maybe Riley Reed will sit and do a little twirl or something, but that's it. You know, most people be scared. They don't want it. They don't want that, you know? So why are you over here bullying a dude for something he can't change while you're looking like a, like the ugly best friend there? I said it. I said it. This man doesn't deserve this. I feel bad for the guy. He's not small, you know? Damn.